Okay. I used to play the piano a long time ago. I haven't had a piano in the house for like 10, 20 years or something. The neighbors gave us a piano for free. It was all broken down. We had some keys all uh, laying down. Some of them wouldn't work at all. Uh, the thing was badly out of tune. Uh, I've been fixing it up a little bit and it dawned on me I should make a video and show you guys how to work on these old things. They're really not hard. They're actually very easy. And almost all of these things, these old upright pianos, they're almost all exactly the same or very similar in the way they come apart. So you'll see, all we're going to need is like a four-way screwdriver and that pretty much does everything. We're going to even take these hammers, all the guts out of this thing. I'll show you real fast. It doesn't take very long. Then, if you want to tune, you can take just a little uh, ratchet and a little socket. Stick it on there and it fits on these little picks. And you can tune some strings. So I'll show you how to do that a little bit later too. So to start with, we'll just start dismantling some stuff here. It's, it's real easy. And I'll be starting with this panel down on the bottom. So let's go ahead and take that bottom panel off and show you how easy it is. Okay, underneath here, how I get this off, there's just a little metal thing to push up on. So you grab a hold of the board, push up there, and out it comes just like that. Then you pick up the whole thing like so, and there it is. Just slide it out of there. And now we can get out everything under here. And then we're going to go up on the top side, and I'll show you the next piece. All right, so now that we got that bottom piece off of there, now we can focus on the, the other part up here. And this is so easy, you won't believe it. Flip this down here and flip this thing up on each side. And I'll show you that thing, how easy that is. Take a look, that's all that was. See, I just opened that up, pulled the piece right off. So easy. All right. And then we're going to do this whole thing right here. We're going to take that off. And I'll show you how easy that is. So, everything on this is so easy. Put the screw on each side. One screw, and a screw. Just like that. And we take the next piece off. After that, we can take this piece off. And also, <coughs> it has just two screws. One right here. One right, right there. That's all we gotta do. Take those out. And there's one. There's the other one. And there's another piece. <laughs> Alright. Now we're down to the keys and all this stuff. By the way, you can take these keys out of here. They're, they're just coming in and out like that. But we're going to take this whole thing, the guts off of here. You won't believe how easy that is. These little thumb screws right here. And I take them out with my fingers. Once I take those off, you can take the whole guts right out of this piano. Yeah, that's a little thumb screw, a little knob. And there's four of those. So you just pull those out. three of them. Here's the fourth one. Look at that. 
<laughs> we can yank this thing. Just like that. Now, is that awesome or what? <laughs> this thing is so easy. come out of here and another thing that goes wrong with these a lot of times is a hole in here and there's some little felt pieces in there and sometimes those felt pieces get all gobbled up or worn out or something like that and sometimes that messes up the action also this little pin that this one sits in the pin goes in here that pin is oblong and if it's turned It'll make the, the key catch on the pin and stick. So there's a common problem. So you check these little pin and see if it's turned the right direction. Because it's all blown and one way it'll work good and one way it won't work good. Alright. So now I should show you another thing. What we'll do is uh, show you a problem here. These little pieces of wood, there's all kinds of little pieces of wood and little things and stuff. What I did on one of these is I actually had a piece of wood that was broken. And I, I took the piece of wood off of one note way up here that I hardly ever use. And moved it down in here so it's a good piece of wood here and the broken one up here. Problem fixed. Sort of. Good enough for this old thing. Alright, so next we'll show you basically uh, how this goes back in there and because yeah, there's a couple things you have to do, deal with putting it back in. It's those rods. There's uh, basically these things. They have to be in the right place and then you can put this all back in. And then I'll show you how to tune it. Okay, when we're putting this back in, this is the very hardest part. Is lining everything up and getting it back properly without breaking any of these wooden pieces. So to start with, there's there's a wooden dowel that goes down to the pedal down there. I want to just pull it off to the top of the pedal and let it drop. So that's a little bit out of the way. And then there's this wooden dowel. This one has to line up with a hole over on this side. Then the metal pieces here, they have to line up. There's four metal posts sticking up in there. There's four posts sticking up in line with these. And so we got to line those up at the same time we get the dowel, wooden dowel lined up and go back in like that. So I'm going to attempt to do that right now. This is the very hardest part of the whole thing. So let's see what happens. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Now I'm going to stick one of these on right quick so I don't lose it. trick is next is to line up the little wooden rod that goes from the pedal arm 
up into this corner and it pokes up through a little piece of metal with a hole in it. So that's mixed. Let's see if I can reach it back here. Yeah, I'll poke it up through the bottom. Okay. What I have to do is line up this with a hole in that piece of wood. And there it is. All the pedals are working. I finished putting these on. Okay, to tune this thing, we're going to use a guitar tuner. And uh, we turn this on here, and we're going to need a tool to tune with. That'll be this little ratchet set here. And instead of putting this on the way it's supposed to be, this is a quarter inch uh, socket, I'm going to put it on backwards. Put this part on here, and this part, square part, fits these. So a quarter inch socket fits those things. Alright? So now I'm going to take my foot on the sustain pedal, the pedal on the right, and hold that pedal down. And then I just twang these strings. So I'm going to take this uh, one right here See the difference in those two strings? It's not supposed to be. This is right. Wait a minute, a D. Yeah, so it's it's supposed to be a C sharp and it's way flat. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. that on there. Just like that, we tune that note. All right, so the guitar tuner works wonders here, <clears throat> and the quarter-inch uh, thing it works wonders here. So you know, the only thing is, if these pins ever get too loose to where that they won't hold the tune, you just throw the piano away, chop it up for firewood or whatever, because it can be a really expensive deal to like replace pins. So. That's my recommendation. You got an old junker piano, tune it as long as you can, and once these pins get loose, uh, throw it away. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is actually put together the rest of those other little pieces. They're real easy and quick. And try this piano out. This is going together so fast. Here's the last piece. Get that in there like that. Put this up. And on this particular piano, there used to be a mirror up here. And there is another piece that goes right on the back here. It's behind the piano, actually, against the wall. So they go piece right here, and then there's a mirror right here. I'm not going to bother with that. Let's see if this thing works. Let's give it a test run. You know, 
know it's not perfect, it's got a lot more tuning to do, a little more fix up, but it's useful, it's an old piece of junk that works.